not that one either. Well, it turns out the spark plugs on this Mini Cooper is a 14 millimeter and it's a 12 point. It's not a, um, you have to have a 12 point thin wall deep socket. Um, and I don't have that, bro. Uh, I have tried everything that I've got inside of my damn toolbox and I don't have a deep wall, deep thin wall 12 point 14 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna have to go and buy a socket in order to pull the damn spark plugs out of this thing. What are you freaking doing over there? Yeah? Did you get it or what? Did, did you get it taken care of there, buddy? <laughs> So I did end up getting new coil packs though. So we got four new coil packs. I wanted to pull the spark plugs out and I was just going to at least clean them really quick. Uh, the battery on this thing is dead. Um, I'm pretty sure that the battery is no good. So we're gonna need a battery. I need to get spark plugs still, but I wanted to at least visually look at these ones and possibly clean them if I have to. But I've learned from experience that even if a spark plug is clean, it could be bad like internally. Learn that the hard way. Anyhow, we will have to go and get a socket, but for the time being, at least I did get four new coil packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in here while we got the battery charging. I just need to get this thing off the trailer and I'm hoping to do so under its own power. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this cover off for the time being because we're gonna have to get in there again. I've only had the charger on here for about 15 minutes or so, so I don't know if that's enough. We might have to let it sit for a little while. Ha! Hell freaking yeah! I haven't had that thing on the charger for even 20 minutes, so. That's pretty dope. Anyhow, it started right up, dude. I could tell by listening to this thing that it definitely needs an oil change. Like, you could tell by the sound of the engine. But, anyhow, I gotta hook the Suburban up to the trailer before I can pull it off. Probably pull it forward a little bit so we have a little bit more room. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to pull the trailer out with the Suburban so I have enough room to get the car out of the backyard and then put the trailer back. And, yeah, it's gonna be a whole ass fiasco. But, yeah, it's gotta be done. Well, honestly, this thing already seems to be running a lot better with the new coil packs. Um, it's not stumbling or misfiring or anything. Still has the check engine lights, but I'm gonna clear those here in a little bit. I just had this hood open. How do you open, you son of a bitch? So I'm curious to know what the oil level is on this damn thing, bro, because it's got a hellacious ass tap. Um, I think it's just valve train because it hasn't had an oil change in absolutely forever and I don't even think there's any oil on this. No, there's oil on it. 
I mean, it does look black, but I don't know. I'd imagine the viscosity of it is probably like water <laughs> since it's so freaking old. This thing's got a cup holder, man. I haven't even checked. So I'm going to be brave and I'm actually going to take this thing to run some errands right now because honestly, I just tried the air conditioning in this song, bitch, and it'd be bussing. <laughs> is that... Is that a word that people use, still use? Bussin'? For those of you who don't own a Mini, in which in the comments I notice a lot of people do, man. Uh, thank you guys for letting me know that these things are pieces of shit and wonderful cars at the same time. So, this is the key. This uh, spaceship, this little saucer. Uh, you slide that thing in there. And you got a push button start right there. Boink! There it goes! <laughs> Dude, always roll your window down if you're getting out of a car with the keys in it, Braven. Anyhow, as far as the tune-up on this thing, I really want to do plugs. Um, oh, enter. I really want to do plugs, the coil packs, and obviously an oil change. That's where I'm going to start. All right, turn down for a second so you're not messing up my audio. Yeah, this air conditioning works really good, man. Yeah, you know, we checked the price for the plugs at uh, like AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Um, it is an NGK Iridium plug that this thing is recommended to take. They are $25 a piece. So, um, I didn't want to spend a hundred and after tax, like $110 on freaking spark plugs, bro. I'm like, good Lord, that's what I pay for khaki, my nitrous car, you know? Ooh, cup holders. Anyhow, um, I checked on Amazon, I got the part number from O'Reilly's, checked on Amazon, and I got all four for $83. So, saved a little bit of money, but now I have to wait. Uh, they didn't have it for same day or next day, so I have to wait until the 11th. Today's the 8th, 9th, 10th, so yeah, <laughs> I gotta wait like three days, but sometimes that stuff comes in sooner, right? Other than that, we already did the coil packs. I think this thing is running a lot better now with just the coil packs because I guess it wouldn't even stay running before. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. It's kind of me taking a risk because I don't have anybody to come save me if I do break down. Everybody's at work right now. I wanna run to Walmart. We're gonna go grab the oil for this. I like getting oil at Walmart because it's cheaper. And then I'm gonna circle around and hit, uh, I think it's a Vato zone right here. Grab the oil filter because I doubt Walmart's gonna have it. This is one of those weird oil filters that's just the filter element you know and while we do that i get to see how this thing feels because it does actually have current registration on it right now turn this ac back up also shout out to whoever sent me these energy drinks man they are pretty bomb this is a black cherry c4 smart energy oh zero sugar what Woo! good lord man it's not bad i drank one uh this morning when i got up to edit yes uh, yesterday's video um, it kept me awake this morning to edit my video, so not bad, man. Not bad. All right, here we go. First drive into Mini Cooper. Mmm, pretty smooth, man. Turn the AC back up. Oh, hell yeah, this is living, baby. Great, it's one of those. I'm not putting my seatbelt on, you motherfucker. Go to hell. Wally Ma, yeah, baby. I like parking on the tire lube express side uh, because most of the stuff that I come to Walmart for is all on this side of the store. Um, and <laughs> there ain't as many people, you know what I'm saying? I don't like people. Freaking people, you know? People. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm kidding. All right, brake cleaner and some car wash stuff. And oil is acquired out of Vato Zone. All right, the seatbelt thing freaking chimes forever, forever. Good Lord, shut up. Um, I also got some of this Ozium spray inside of Walmart. Dude, this stuff kicks ass, bro. Like, I just, I have to get rid of the smell that's inside of this damn car. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm pre-gaming. <laughs> We about to clean the absolute shit out of this song, bitch, but may as well get some good smelling shit going right now. This thing's got a little bit of pep to it. It's not bad for the non-turbo model. Which, by the way, I wanted to mention to you guys that this is a base model. It's just the R54, I think it's what it's called, the engine. It's the non-turbo one. Um, so supposedly, this is the one 
that doesn't have all the dumb little problems like the turbo models do so um, I don't know if that is true or not it, I don't have experience with it but that's just from what I've heard anyhow supposedly this is the model that does not have all the dumb problems that a lot of you guys were mentioning in the comments uh, whenever we got this thing so full speed ahead into traffic where we are dead stopped filter acquired yeah this is uh this is just like a bmw filter it's just the element itself you know so um that's the reason why i got brake cleaner because i know i'm probably if this thing hasn't had a, an oil change in a long time probably gonna have to clean out the inside of the housing but let's get to the house get this thing torn apart on the road again <laughs> You know what, I completely forgot that before I go home, I wanted to add some of this oil treatment. So this is basically like sea foam. I want to add some of this to the oil before I change the oil. All right, I got to fight with this son of a bitch again. Where are you at? There you are. Thank you. Yeah, conveniently right here on top. Ooh. Look at the smoke coming out of there, buddy. Yeah, that's a great sign. Anyhow, um... Supposed to put one ounce of this per quart of oil, and this is 16 ounces, so I want to put about a quarter of this can in there. Maybe a little bit extra, because I'm getting ready to do an oil change right freaking now. So I'm hoping this will kind of break up some of the gunk in there, because this thing, like I said, bro, I was told this thing hasn't had an oil change in years. Uh, I put about a third of that can in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now where's the spaceship at again? Alrighty. Now let's get home. Bro, this AC really is bussing, man. Working amazing. Alright, before I shut this thing off, you guys hear that? Yeah, I'm really hoping that that goes away with an oil change. Because um, if this thing really... If this thing really hasn't had an oil change in forever, that's probably the reason why it's making so much noise. I, I'm, I'm hoping that that's valve train noise and not like, you know. It's a freaking Allen wrench. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? God, I hate whenever cars have freaking Allen wrenches, man. Like a damn Volkswagen. And yes, yes, I most certainly did just do that off camera and then reenact it for you guys. <laughs> what the? Are you on Lucin? Yes, you are. Oh my God. Wow. All right. That broke loose. Be able to do it by hand. Oh, stop doing this. Oh my god, dude. Really? You loosen this thing one damn turn and it starts pouring out. See, you literally got to deal with it pouring out the entire time you're getting that plug out. What is this shit? Oh my god, this is definitely going to run down my arm. Jesus Christ. There it goes. Well, that's definitely a mess maker. Good lord. 
And I don't think that this oil filter housing is going to be any different. That's going to make an absolute mess as well. So I got to pull that off and it's tilted. So the only other vehicle I've ever done that's had a housing like this was my E36 and the E46 for that matter. Uh, but I'm, if I remember correctly, they point straight up. So yeah, this is going to dump all over the place as soon as I loosen that. I guarantee it. I don't know man, you guys think you could tell a little bit of a difference between the old filter and the new filter? It's slightly a little bit of a different color, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, not much, but the Wix filter did come with a new o-ring to go on the filter housing, which is dope because this o-ring is definitely flat. <laughs> and another thing I just realized, it comes with a crush washer for the oil pan, which is dope. I already put the... um. I already put the old one back on, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and put this on there before I dump oil in it. I had no idea it came with this, so. I'm going to go ahead and swap that thing out and then dump the new oil in here. I'm at, Dude, I am so hoping that this gets rid of all that damn clatter the engine was making. Out with the old and in with the new. I'm actually happy it came with this because I... Got underneath there to loosen this drain plug and there was already a drip forming on it. So obviously the old crush washer was not sealing properly. I throw the new filter in here. Now I'm not too experienced with doing these type of filter changes, you know, with this housing on here with the O-ring and stuff, but I am experienced enough with O-rings to know that you should lubricate them a little bit. Yeah, that old oil is pretty damn dirty, man. I'm gonna make it a point to change this oil again, probably I don't know, in a week or so, just to kind of work all this old shit out. Cause dude, that's literally like staining my finger. <laughs> All right, new crush washer is definitely doing its job because I've had it on there for a while now and another little drip did not form. Uh, it was pretty wet right here in this area. I used my rag and wiped it down, but it is, um, it is pretty gunked up also. So I do want to pressure wash underneath here and try to clean some of this up because also up here was wet. So it doesn't look like it's coming from down there. It's coming from up here. So, where'd it go? Right back there, in behind the oil filter housing. You see it's wet back there. I don't see where, oh, it looks like it's wet up here too. I don't know what this thing right here is. Somebody throw it in the comments down below what this thing is. It looks like that might be leaking, but I was also thinking it could be uh, because of this flat ass O-ring that was on the uh, oil filter so the oil filter does get a lot of oil pressure through there and if this o-ring is not sealing sufficiently of course you're gonna have a leak right there and i was kind of thinking that could have been it but um i'm gonna pressure wash and try to clean up some of that oil there and underneath so i can come back and check on it later see if it continues leaking for one and if it does see if i can't see where it's coming from of course for two but we are ready to go ahead and top the oil off now. I'm just going to dump about four quarts in there, close it up, pressure wash underneath, and then set it down 
and then check and make sure I have the correct amount. I looked it up. This thing takes like, I think it's like 4.4 quarts or so. It's a little over four, a little less than five. And the old Google machine says that this machine here takes a 5W30, a full synthetic. So that is exactly what it is I got from the Wally market. And not only to get rid of that oil down inside of there, but this damn engine bay is filthy, man. So you already know where we need to go. We gotta grab the lean, mean, super clean. <laughs> All right, do I want the spray bottle or do I want the foaming can? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna go with the foaming can today. <laughs> If your dog greaser don't make you choke, then it's a joke. <laughs> Good lord. thing while we have this car up in the air i'm going to go ahead and do these front wheels the front obviously are a lot worse than the rear um because of the brake dust look at that that's where i that's where i touched it at look at that that is woo, caked up there boy i'm gonna go ahead and spray these off well i'm gonna hit them with some uh super clean of course and then we're gonna spray these off while i have the front up in the air so then i can i can get a little spin action going on Yeah, man. I actually like whenever they're this dirty because the before and after is going to be amazing.
you for? <laughs> oh my god, dude. You cannot deny this. Really quick before. And freaking after, bro. Holy shit. This wheel is literally glowing. That is insane. God, I actually kind of like these wheels now. Look at that. That is crazy how much of a difference a little bit of super clean will do. Wait till we get this thing down on the ground. We clean the whole thing. The super clean and the pressure washer together is going to make this gray plastic look black again. <laughs> Most annoyingest thing in this neighborhood. I'm sorry. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Annoying as fuck. What is up with this wheel well? This is literally like cloth. Dude, the wheel well is cloth. Oh my god, the whole wheel well is cloth. That's a trip. Huh. That is strange. Well, I've been doing a little bit of research and I think the noise is coming from a bad vacuum pump. Yeah. And this little hatch, oh, little slot thing right here, it, it lines up inside the cam. So, so uh, we're, we're going to try not to spin it or move it or anything. We're just leaving it there. So I guess that noise comes from the vacuum pump either being bad or leaking. And I just now noticed right now watching that video as I'm recording this that because I just looked up uh, how to replace the vacuum pump on a 2009 Mini Cooper. I guess that's what this is. I guess this is the vacuum pump and it looks to me like that is what's leaking. So um, I'm not going to get all into that today. If you guys have any recommendations or experience with that, throw it in the comments down below, please. Or uh, give me a write up or something uh, on Built Not Bought and tag me. But yeah, it looks to me like this thing is definitely leaking. Look, there's still buildup on it because uh, my pressure washer don't get underneath there, you know? Um, so I think that's what's going on. The reason why it's so loud and chattery. But I also guess that it's uh, it's pretty normal for these minis to sound that way. So I'm learning, I'm learning, okay? Anyhow, we got the oil change done, uh, new coil pack. And I guess this thing wouldn't even hold an idle whenever you come to a stop before. And you guys seen, we just drove this thing all over the place today, uh, just after doing oil uh, the coil pack. So, and I do have new spark plugs coming. Uh, they're gonna be here, like I said, in three days. They'll be here on the, on the 11th. So between now and then, I need to make sure to make it down somewhere and buy a damn 12 point thin walled deep 14 millimeter socket so I could do the damn spark plug. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this little mini fiasco with cleaning this thing up some more. Uh, dude, these wheels came out amazing on the front. I still haven't done the rear. Look at that, literally glowing, bro. I want to try to restore this plastic, to degrease it and pressure wash it and stuff. We obviously got to clean the rear wheels and get them looking as good as the front. Other than that, the exterior is just going to get a basic spray off, you know, with the pressure washer. I'm going to foam it um, and then we'll vacuum the inside and blow all the dust and everything out of it. Hang a tree in a rear view mirror and we'll be done, man. Oh. Always make sure the key isn't in here before shutting the door. Where's my flying saucer? I just don't trust it.
Yeah, man, this car most certainly has a much better presence with it being all cleaned up um, on the outside. The inside still needs some work. Well, this interior is really clean, like as in it's in good shape, but it's not really clean as in it's filthy. <laughs> it just needs a good vacuum and wipe down the dash and all that stuff, you know, just the regular. But um, oh, damn, look, a freaking cargo cover. Got to get that put on. Hmm, probably gonna take these seat covers off and ditch those because I don't know You guys know me. I am not a fan of seat covers at all I've been ozoning the shit out of the inside of this thing every time I get a chance I just drench the inside with this stuff and shut the doors so it kind of eats up the smell inside of here Shoo mini Cooper freaking floor mats that's pretty sick, and they're not carpet either. Look at this, Braven. It's a factory floor mat, and it's rubber. That's pretty dope. That is pretty sick. Instead of being carpet. This thing needs to be cleaned. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned really bad. <laughs> <laughs> So I cannot just vacuum this thing out, bro. I got to pull the seats because there's just so much dirt and stuff. So uh, there's just a lot of dirt and the seat just isn't moving enough for me to actually get to everything. Uh, one of you guys actually sent this out to me. Uh, I don't remember who, but whoever sent this, I most certainly appreciate it. We're going to put it to use right now. Uh, going to go ahead and scrub that carpet uh, once we get the seats out of the way. And... Yeah, that's what this is for. I got to this big old ugly ass clip down here. Look at that freaking thing. And it, uh, yeah, it made me realize. Oh, shit, there's a, um, airbag inside of these hair seats. I should probably disconnect the battery. Don't want no accidentes. Because that would suck. Do not reconnect the battery because this is where you'll get your warning light. Okay, so to disconnect it, so just need to pop that out there and that's disconnected. So as long as you don't reconnect your battery, you're not going to get any warning lights. You can then swap in your other seat. Yeah, I had to watch a video to figure out how to unplug that damn seat, bro. Um, and it's a good thing that we did disconnect the battery because I just learned that if you disconnect an airbag on this car at all, that it will put a light, an airbag light on the dash that you cannot turn off unless you have an airbag reset tool of some kind. 
um, or you have to basically you have to go down to the dealer and have it reset. So uh, whenever you disconnect an airbag, you want the battery disconnected, and you have got to make sure that you do not reconnect the battery until that airbag is plugged back in. So the more you freaking know, man. I'm always working on old 90s vehicles. You know what I'm saying? This is a 2009. bolts that hold these damn seats in are Torx and I have learned from experience when dealing with Torx you want to loosen them by hand not with the impact because <laughs> you will snap your Torx bit real quick And this damn clip is the easiest freaking thing in the world in which I would have never figured it out if I didn't watch a video, but this black section right here, you just pull that and that's what locks it in. <laughs> it's just as simple as that, bro. Good Lord, I swear to you, I was messing with the driver's side one for a good fat minute until I said, you know what? I'm gonna go watch a damn video, man. Lord, man, hell yeah. Now we got access to all that shit. Do you see? I would have never gotten all that with the seats in the way. Uh, this side over here, I basically already vacuumed. But look at all that that I wasn't capable of getting to. So I think it's definitely a win-win pulling the seats out this sound bitch. But before we continue on with vacuuming, and I want to scrub this carpet with those little brushes I showed you. We got to grab the lean mean. Super clean. And we're going to go ahead and saturate these... Uh, floor mats i want to get these pressure washed because they're going to need a little bit of time to dry so we're going to go ahead and clean these really quick so then i can set them in the sun and they'll be drying while we are getting the carpet all clean these things are pretty bad bro pretty bad um another thing i'm going to pressure wash is the uh seat rails themselves so this is another area that gets pretty caked up with shit if you don't clean it every so often uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit those with some super clean. I'm gonna let that kind of saturate on there. Then we're gonna pressure wash the rails. Um, I'm not going to do the entire seat. I just want to get the rail and get all the buildup off of them.
Well, there it is, man, all freaking cleaned up. I ain't gonna lie, I cleaned up pretty well, man. Now, we do have plans for this. I do want to obviously lower it. Um, I'd like to find a different set of wheels. Uh, luckily, these things are four by 100. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of thinking about telling Braven, what's up? Come off of these damn things. I feel like lowered, that offset right there would look pretty damn good on the Mini. Throw it in the comments below, let Braven know that the, uh, the Integra needs Mini wheels on it. You know what I'm saying? We should just do a straight across trade. <laughs> Anyhow, the interior came out freaking marvelous, dude. Like, this interior literally looks like a brand spanking new car. Uh, there really isn't any flaws in it. There's only, well, there's only this one spot right here on the driver's seat. That's the only flaw inside of this damn interior, dude. So, yeah, it is, it's in really good shape, especially now that it's all cleaned up. You can actually tell. Um, and like I said, these floor mats are pretty sick. I don't know, it's just a really nice interior and it cleans up really well. The back seat literally looks like it's never been sat in. Dude, the rear hatch, once again, needs new shocks, but look at that. With the little freaking cargo cover? God damn, boy. Anyhow, just to let you guys know, this is gonna be a driver for us. You know, it's just basically a, a, just a, a to and from work car for Jessica for the most part, or whenever we need to mob around. It's something that drives really smooth until we put coilovers on it and slam it, and it's got cold air conditioning, what can I say? Um, but we are gonna be working on the appearance of it, of course. We do want to uh, black out the chrome, lower it, do the wheels, all that kind of stuff, redo the vinyl on the roof. All things that we'll get into later. Uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm actually stoked that it's running pretty decent. Whenever these spark plugs come in, we'll do that, and hopefully it makes even more of an improvement. But uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.